Hello. Greetings to Vermont voters. How are you all doing? Well, I read in the news recently, in May of 2024, that a man in Rutland, Vermont, lost some of his unemployment benefits because his employer drug tested him under federal law and he tested positive for marijuana, but he did not use marijuana cannabis at work. He used marijuana cannabis at home as a verifiable medical marijuana patient. Now, the latest news I saw is that the case is now going to the Vermont Supreme Court. So this should be a major alert to all Vermonters because one man lost some of his unemployment benefits, his right to collect unemployment, when his employer apparently fired him for testing positive for marijuana and the employer tested him under federal law even though state law in the state of Vermont says that marijuana cannabis is legal under state law. So we have this conflict, this conflict between state and federal law. So we need to start a new minor party to bring awareness to this because this could devastate Vermont financially. If the federal government goes sneaking around and drug testing people who receive any type of federal benefit, whether it's food stamps or fuel assistance or Medicaid or college grants, if the federal government starts sneaking around and drug testing Vermonters under federal law so that they lose their benefits, then if 10,000 Vermonters lose their benefits, which are federally funded, then that will financially devastate the state of Vermont. So we have to start this new minor political party to raise awareness to it. So I'm going to explain how we're going to do this. Now, Vermont Digger on May 29th reported that in the Vermont Supreme Court case, medical marijuana user says state wrongly denied unemployment benefits. An ACLU attorney called it quite severe for the state to deny benefits to a Rutland man who had been fired from his bus maintenance job for using state-sanctioned medicine. The ACLU reported on May 31st, Skorik versus Department of Labor, Rutland residents Ivo Skorik has a state-issued medical cannabis card to treat a debilitating condition. Mr. Skorik worked as a bus fueler washer for a regional transit authority. He lost his job because Federal Department of Transportation regulations required his employer to terminate him after he tested positive for cannabis. When Mr. Skorik applied for state-based unemployment, the Vermont Department of Labor denied him a portion of his benefits. In his view, Mr. Skorik had... In okay. Now, what I need you to do is to go to party... 2024.wordpress.com party2024.wordpress.com Now, if we scroll down this, there's a long explanation of what we have to do to start a minor political party in Vermont. 
And the main thing we need to do to get started is that we need four people in each of 10 towns to start committees. For a minor political party, that's the minimum. Four people in each of 10 towns. So you can read the long explanation, but that's what we're looking for. Four people in each of 10 Vermont towns to start town committees. And in the town committees, we give you job titles, chair, second chair, secretary, treasurer. And then when we get the 10 town committees together, we make a state committee. And any town committee member can join the state committee. And again, then we have to elect a chair, a second chair, a treasurer, and a secretary for the state committee. And then we need members to agree to run for political office. And to run for political office for a minor party in Vermont, you do not need to collect petition signatures. There is no signature petition collection for a candidate for a minor party. So we need candidates for to run for all of the offices. Now, if you run for governor, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, attorney general, state auditor, or state treasurer, then you need to fill out forms for the secretary of state. You'll be required to sign a candidate consent form agreeing to be on the official election ballot on November 5th, 2024, this year, 2024. And you'll, you will have to fill out a financial disclosure form if you want to be a candidate for those offices. Then for the federal offices, U.S. Senator and Representative to Congress, you have to follow every single law from the Federal Election Commission, www.fec.gov. So you really have to know what you're doing there. Now, I will show you the next step. Now, here is the next step in starting a minor political party. Cannabis 2024.wordpress.com cannabis 2024.wordpress.com what i need you to do is download this form and mail it to me i'm the acting chairperson at this time my name is Chris Erickson, 879 Church Street, Chester, Vermont, 05143. You can email me at ru18vote at gmail.com. That's ru18vote at gmail.com. And what I need to do to do is fill out this form to join a committee. So we'll go through the form that you have to sign to be on a committee of the United States Marijuana Party. And remember, you have to join a committee for a town, for one of ten towns or surrounding towns. And then if you join the state committee after joining a town committee, then you can run as a candidate for statewide office or federal office. So on the form, you have to say, my name is, you state your name, you write it in there, and you state that I agree to join a town committee of the United States Marijuana Party. And you agree to the one platform issue, we only have one platform issue, of making marijuana cannabis legal under federal law. So if you become a candidate, as a candidate, you'll make your own website. You'll, you'll say on your website that you're a candidate for the United States Marijuana Party. You agree to the one cat platform issue of making cannabis marijuana legal under federal law. But then you have your own list of issues. Each candidate for statewide office or federal office 
we'll have the one issue we agree on and then any other issue you want to add. That's your choice. You only have to agree to, to one issue and then all the other issues are your, your choice. Now you have to agree to attend a meeting by Zoom or in person in a public place. I was thinking about that, that the closest public place to my house, I live in rural Vermont, um, so the closest public place to my house is the cemetery caddy corner across the street. That would be fun. We could all meet in the cemetery. Okay, then you have to be a registered Vermont voter, and, and you have to state the town you're registered in. You have to state your home address, your telephone number, and your email address, and you have to sign and date it. So you fill out this form. And you have to download it and, and fill it out, and then you mail it to me. I'm the acting chair. So those are the three steps. You can get all the information in one place at chriserickson.com. chriserickson.com. That's me. I'm the acting chair. So as the acting chair, I'm giving you all the information in one place. Please head to vt2024.com, vt2024.com. And we need you to join the United States Marijuana Party, forming as a new minor political party in Vermont.